Hello, and welcome to this 14th video on using Blender for video editing. In this session, we're going to talk about how to get rid of the black bars that are on either side of your uh, source video, if it has one, like this one does. Uh, and it's pretty simple. There's about three steps. Let's go through them now. So uh, first off, um, by black bars, I'm talking about these over here on, either, on the left and right sides, although you could also have some on, on the top and bottom, and the process is the same. Uh, we start by selecting the video strip and making sure that what we have to start with in our scene uh, in terms of resolution matches. So when I scroll down, when I select the video, the movie strip and scroll down, you can see uh, original dimensions right now are showing 9 914 by 358. Uh, so earlier I had shown you how you can go um, when you're in your uh, properties editor you can just type in these values and we can do that. But there's there's one little shortcut I wanna show you right now is uh, when you have the strip selected, you can go to strip and then set render size. And then there you can see it, uh, it automatically uh, make those changes for you. So now we have our scene is set up correctly with the, the, with the resolution matching our source video. Uh, let me zoom this in a bit so you can still see the bars. So the next step is to enable two different features on the strip itself from the properties. So you scroll down here until you see image offset and you check that. And then the next thing is to enable an image crop. Now you can see it's, it's uh, showing us this top, bottom, left, right. And all you have to do is figure out the number, the amount to set your left and right values to so that the black bars are cropped off. So um, you can you can type in a number or you can just click and drag with your left mouse button. And you, as you can see, as I do that, it starts uh, moving it sideways. Let me zoom in and scroll over so I can see. So you could do it this way. I mean, if you didn't know exactly what the value is and you can just keep playing with the numbers, with the arrows or typing it in. And that looks right at 30. And actually, I know it's right because I created this video. I, I added 30. So um, on the other side, I'm going to hit home to just get to bring that back. And for the right side, I'll just type in 30 because that, that is what it is. So now um, the, the black bars are gone. But the downside is now we've got uh, the video has been kind of shifted to the left. And now we have this checkered, this uh, gray checkerboard uh, looking thing right here. Uh, what this is telling us is a blender. This is Blender's way of telling us that uh, for what we can see right now, um, really only that left part is is what's visible, and whatever we see as a checkerboard will it'll be rendered out as black. So we don't want that. We we want to have just the video itself. So we have to get rid of that, and the way to do it is just to adjust the resolution. So now we know we, we started with 914, but then we uh, we removed 30 pixels worth from the left and 30 from the right. So you can just, if you're good at mental math, go ahead and just do, you know, 914 minus 30 minus 30 and whatever that value is. But you don't have to be good at mental math. Here's another trip uh, tip for you in this video. Uh, all of these fields, these numeric fields, uh, they are like little calculators. You can just type that in and uh, Blender will do the calculation for you. So I start with 914 and I can say minus 30, minus 30, press enter. There you go. That is the correct value that we should set the resolution to. So now that we've removed the bars and then we've, uh, now we, then we also reduce the X resolution so that the resulting scene it fits perfectly in what we've uh, what we've uh, modified here, uh, and that's all there is to it. So now you can just go ahead and uh, you know adjust your render settings and export your video, and you will now have your video with no black bars. So that's it for this session. Um, next session, I'm just going to do the reverse: how to add bars, and it it really is. Pretty straightforward. Um, and again, as I mentioned before, the top and bottom work the same way. So if for whatever reason you'll, if you know, if you also have bars on the top and bottom, then it would be a matter of adjusting 
the the top and and bottom settings here and again then you would be taking those values and adjusting it here so let me go ahead and say so we start with 358 and I'm going to minus 26 minus 34 as an example and and there we go then we have now we've done our cropping and our video was going to come out nice and looking just like that okay so that's it and see you next time bye